Okay, this video <clears throat> is this guy right here named Jeff Palmer, and he runs a supplement company, and he's trying to sell supplements, and so he's telling people that it's a bad idea to supplement with the omega-3 fatty acid, the longest long-chain omega-3 fatty acid, DHA. And DHA, by the way, is made by plants, like algae. That's where the fish get it. The fish don't make it themselves. The precursor to it is the C18 fatty acid called ALA. And I'm of the school. I agree with Dr. McDougall. Just eat the low-fat plant foods. And Dr. Pritik, um, Dr. Uh, Nathan Pritikin would agree with this. There's plenty of ALA in low-fat plant foods. It's a non-issue. You know, imagine our ancestors. They didn't go around supplementing DHA. So anyway, so the reason why I'm showing you this video is because it's interesting. He basically says that DHA cannot be retro-converted to the shorter length omega-3s, and the body might need those. So he says it's a waste of time. Uh, he says, basically, if you supplement with DHA, you're uh, tremendously overdosing on it. Basically, <clears throat> ALA, the precursor, can be made into whatever form the body wants if it needs to make it into anything at all. And that's what the body's sort of designed to do. And that when you uh, just go straight to DHA, it causes problems. There's another guy who made a big fuss about problems with long-chain omega-3s. I think his name was Brian Peskin or something like that. Um, anyways, I just thought this was rather amusing. He has a, um, a website. I will link to it. And don't get me wrong, I am not recommending this guy. I, he, he's a big supplement seller. I don't take any of his supplements. I have no interest in him whatsoever. He doesn't have any academic background either. But I simply show it to you because omega-3s are touted like they're you know God's gift to supplements. They've got that health halo around them, which I think is quite exaggerated. So I just thought you would find this amusing. Um, and, you know, it's an introduction to the topic, so I will put some links to it as well. Hope you find it uh, helpful and interesting.